Welcome to Tech Yes City, and I am in Taipei 101. Actually, I'm not in the building. <laughs> I'm in Taiwan, Taipei. Today we're going to be used parts vlog hunting, and I'm actually in the hotel at the moment. But I'm going to go get breakfast, and then we're going to look around. So basically, the drop is here that no one really knows where to go use parts hunting. Except what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, place where they sell the U parts. I'm going to say to the boys there, look, where do I get the used parts at? So we're going to try and find something in the end, see if it works out, and you guys are going to become the men and women who watch this whole journey. Uh. 2017's Computex coverage in Taiwan was brought to you by MSI and Corsair, bringing you the best in PC peripherals and components. Click the link in the description below to find out more about current specials being offered by both MSI and Corsair over the Computex period. So right now we are outside a place called Guanghao Plaza. Now I'm going to go into this place and of course hunt for those used parts for you guys. Also check out some of the new parts, but I'm more interested in getting some used price performance. And this is right in the middle of Taipei as well. So this is my first time going here. This is like my literally my second day in to being in Taiwan. Yesterday I pretty much slept because I got a midnight flight and I don't know hardly any Chinese at all. So let's see how this goes. Guanghao is quite literally the epicenter of tech. If you're in the middle of Taipei, then this is the place to go to shop for brand new tech, albeit the prices surprisingly aren't that much better than what you'd expect back at home. For instance, in Australia, I could probably pick up an SSD cheaper than what I could in Taiwan, which is surprising considering a lot of these products are actually not just based in here and the headquarters are here for these companies, but they're also produced here. So it is quite surprising to see that prices aren't that cheap for actual new technology here, even with a five percent tax on board i still think the prices could be a little bit better however as for used parts i'm sure you guys were wondering what could i do as i asked around to quite a few people and all i could come up with is that you have to go online if you're looking for used parts however I did arm myself with a cheat sheet and I did learn the word for used and so I just went around for literally every store in this district and it took me a long time, I was very tired, went around to every store, walked in and just said, I'm looking for used parts. <laughs> And anyway, I ended up finding two places in the end that had some used parts for sale. The guy had some stuff out the back and he showed me the wares. And what I had here was an AM3 motherboard and a Phenom 6 core processor. And I managed to pick this up for around about 50 US dollars. And that is a bargain, especially even it came with the cooler. And then another store also had a fm2 motherboard with an old apu on it and i asked this guy well how much do you want for this and he said two dollars so i immediately picked that up because he said it was probably broken and i was like well look i'm just going to test it out anyway and i'm sure both the motherboard and cpu aren't broken so probably one of the two is broken so i think that was a pretty good deal mind you they did have an intel uh h55 motherboard packed with memory and an i7 870 and I said, can I have this? And he's like, he took a look at it and he said, oh, you can have anything in that bin. And then he went and took the motherboard and said, no, you can't have this once he saw the i7. So I was a little bit devoted about that, but I did offer him $10 and he didn't take it. shopping at Guanghao Digital Plaza and it was pretty good. I'm pretty tired because I had to hustle really hard. The streets here, they mainly sell the new parts. No one's really selling used parts on the shelves. But as always, no asking, no getty. And I was asking all these guys and two stores did manage in the end to give me some used parts. So I'm going to show you guys when we get back to the hotel what we've got in these bags because one of the deals that I got is really cool because I've been looking for it for quite some time and it's going to be awesome when I put it into a build. But let's get back home. What's 
Now if you're coming to Taipei, it is a really good place, especially if you love food. There is so many different night markets and there's also different places where you can eat on pretty much every corner. I did find a few places close by that just made amazing food. And keep in mind, you can still go to chain restaurants like Moss Burger, McDonald's, KFC. However, I really wasn't interested in eating any chain food when I was over here and I'm glad I didn't as some of the local food is just absolutely fantastic i can highly recommend it and it will only set you back around about two or three dollars and it just tastes that good now also if you're going around transport for taipei then i highly recommend you take the trains and the buses or the sky buses as the prices between them and a taxi for example are just leagues different if you catch the train it literally costs you around a dollar though if you do decide to catch a taxi it can cost you pretty much what you're used to paying back at home so I was actually quite surprised when I got a taxi from the airport to my hotel and it ended up being $50. I was like, wow, that's quite expensive. Even then I found out if I took the air shuttle bus and a train, it would have cost me literally $5. So that's just a tip if you guys want to come here for a holiday. So we're now back at the hotel and I've got all the parts here that I've got from this haul. Now, two of the parts I actually managed to get when I went into the Bit Phoenix office and they had some old parts laying around that they said they were gonna throw out because they thought they didn't work. So I've got this Gravis card here. I believe it's a GTX 770. It might even be a 780. I've gotta pull it apart and check. And they just they said it doesn't work. So I'm essentially gonna test this thing out, see if it does work. And then we've got a Z87 motherboard here. Now, this board, honestly, it's got so many bent pins. I'm gonna have a tough time trying to get this thing to work. But if it does work, then it's gonna be really awesome. And then, of course, we've got those two parts that I picked up at the market for really good prices. So I'm hoping to see what I can make out of this. But honestly, guys, used parts hunting is very challenging if you are in Taipei. It is extremely challenging to the point where I was exhausted after I ran through all those night markets trying to get deals. And people were kind of like looking at me strange because I guess buying used parts really isn't a thing here. I guess everyone likes to buy new stuff, kind of like Japan, except Japan's got those junkyard places and they do make a little bit of money out of doing things like this. So it was a great experience. I really am enjoying Taipei itself. It's a great place to come if you guys are thinking about a holiday. Everything's really cool. The food, the traveling here, and some of the places are really awesome too. So I am enjoying myself a little bit besides the used pass hunting as well. And I don't think I'll be able to make a PC while I'm here, a whole used PC. I think that's out of the question because I could actually start filming for Computext soon. Though on that note, I did forget my microphone and it was a dynamic microphone that I forgot. So I was actually out shopping for microphones and the guy had five different mics and I just said, look, that one looks used. What's the deal on it? And he said, oh, it's like $15 literally. And so I said, can I try that compared to the $50 mic? And he's like, yeah, sure. And I had one listen to this used microphone and I thought it sounded a heap better. But anyway, I'll switch over to this microphone. You guys can have a quick listen because this is the kind of sound quality I'm gonna be giving you guys at Computex when I'm doing the live one-on-one -on -one interviews. So here's a quick sound test on the Audio Lapse microphone. Never heard of the brand, but hopefully it just works. That's all I'm hoping for. And I'll be giving you guys some Computex coverage in the next couple of days. And it's gonna be hard because my voice is already gone and the event hasn't even started yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty crazy so if you guys have a request as well let me know in the comment section below as i'll be here for the next week roughly and if you have any special requests and they're not too crazy then i'll try and get them done for you guys and also with the giveaway for the monitors steve and i will be announcing the winner on twitter and we'll also be doing a live stream on twitch so i'll put the link in the description below where you can check out the details for that it will be announced probably an hour beforehand so stay tuned if you want to see us give away these monitors live and i'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon and also if you enjoyed this one then be sure to hit that like button as well and yeah i'll see you in the next tech video guys peace out for now bye